Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing Max Spellbinder Shadows. I bought, I think I bought six, but I couldn't find one eyeshadow. And one I couldn't get it because I placed an order for that eyeshadow through Macy's, but that order didn't go through. So that's why I didn't get that dark, dark purple one. Like almost like it looks like black, but it has purple tone in it. So that was the only one I couldn't get it, even though that one is really pretty. But I'm now winding up my collection with five, eye, five or six eyeshadow if I have the sixth one. So we are going to talk about uh, how they perform, what are the uh, best good things about this, uh, these eyeshadows and how they are different than others. And uh, what is the problem I've seen when I was doing this eye look. So I used one of those to do this eye makeup look. Today I'm happy with this eye makeup look. It's like a smoky eyeliner kind of look, but it's not an eyeliner. I just use these Spellbinder eyeshadow by MAC today to create this makeup look. So it's going to be in the end if you guys want to check this makeup look, how I created this. So uh, first thing, I love this because it's high shine little bit has glitters also and uh, very fine glitters you cannot really tell oh it this is like a glittery eyeshadow uh, once you wet your brush uh, it looks like more metallic and the glitters shows less so then pigment and glitters mix together and becomes more like a metallic eyeshadow so it's up to you how you want to use it you want to use it as metallic or you want to use it as high and fine glitter kind of uh, makeup if you are using these kind of eyeshadows don't go all the way to your crease just keep it a little bit low because this is like these eyeshadows are very pigmented so it's a good thing but on the other side if you take it all the way here you might see that it's gonna ruin all your whole your makeup look it's gonna go everywhere once you are gonna start blending with a brush that's why i created this kind of smoky makeup look i think this is high pigment high shine metallic also so that is the plus points of this it's magnetic so just be careful it it should not go inside your eyes so you have to be a little bit careful the only problem is you're gonna they've said that it's not gonna have any fallouts it's gonna be like magnet just sticking with your eyelids it's not the reality the truth is you are going to see the fallouts and not miserable but so prefer to do your eye look first and then do your face makeup later other thing is i've seen when i was applying my eyeliner it was a bit difficult to apply on the top of uh, uh this uh, spellbinder uh, eyeshadow so that is also the second thing you have to keep in mind that try to use some liquid liner rather than a pen i think if you want to buy these don't go like me and buy five of five of those just go and buy one or two uh, which you think that it's like extraordinary and it's going to look really good on your eyelids the colors you really love journally just go and grab those ones it doesn't come in uh, golden eyeshadows or the the eyeshadows which is like normally like uh, very popular uh, this comes with like very dramatic kind of eyeshadows so you're gonna see in my close-up video uh, how these eyeshadows look uh, with the close-ups and uh, but my two favorite eyeshadows i like these dynamically charged it looks like this and it looks like this other thing i want to tell you these eyeshadows perform really well with brush rather than uh, like if you go for the metallic eyeshadows makeup geek any eyeshadows if you see uh, color pop eyeshadows they perform really well with your fingers but this is other way if you use your finger the eye uh, the pigment is not going to be even uh, it's going to be more uneven uh, but if you use your brush uh, you're gonna see smooth eyeshadow applications so dynamically 
um what was it charged and other one was uh, mysterious influence this is my second favorite or you can say this is my first favorite and that one was my uh second favorite so this is uh, the other one mysterious influence dynamically charged this is uh, more bronzy golden this is greenish golden all eye shadows have some kind of uh, golden hint uh, like a golden sheen kind of thing and uh, but in this navy blue eye shadow um, the one i used it from creating this eye look has more like a royal blue and navy blue combination so i really love uh, doing this like makeup look also and i was not even expecting it's going to look so, so good but i'm happy and uh, uh now you're going to see the makeup look and close up swatches also uh hopefully you're going to like this video i did whole face makeup uh the way i did it in my last video i'm going to uh, link that video down below if you want to see lipstick i used today tartiest uh, lip paint in namaste this is the eyeshadow high power it's a bronzy eyeshadow with a hint of reddish tone very beautiful eyeshadow this eyeshadow is mysterious influence this is also very beautiful green olive green this eyeshadow is blue karma it's a turquoise kind of eyeshadow the name of this eyeshadow is like i cannot pronounce it so i'm going to write down on the screen and this is like a royal blue navy blue kind of eyeshadow and this is the eyeshadow i used today to create my makeup look today Dyna dynamically charged innocent and then i'm going to go with whimsy so first innocent and then whimsy and i already prepped my face so again i am going to use with in going with innocent first second eye shadow whimsy going back with my blending brush now i'm going to use max spell by the shadow i'm not going to try to pronounce the name but i'm going to write down on the screen somewhere so it looks like this i'm using mac 239 brush i'm not covering all the way my lid because it look so much harsh on your eyes so i'm just keeping it like a liner kind of look but in the end i'm taking it all the way to my crease they say there is no fallout with eye shadows these eye shadows you can see the fall fallouts you can easily see on my skin so there is fallouts with this these eye shadows i'm just going to remove the sides excess now i'm going to apply eyeliner i'm going to go back with navy blue uh this i shadow one more time on the top i'm just applying a little bit on the i'm just giving that liner kind of look with the blue so i just applied my liner and now i'm just touching up over here so everything is going to look a little bit blended i think we cannot do much with these eye shadows because this specially eye shadow is so like dramatic and i really don't want to do more with this one so i think uh, upper eyes are fine like this i still like this um, navy blue liner kind of look i don't know if you're going to like it or no going back with innocent and whimsical both together like 
uh, one by one first eye shadow and then second eye shadow on my lower lash line now I'm going with Whimsy this is YSL waterproof eye pencil in number 3 I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette and this eyeshadow Midnight. Now I'm going to apply this eyeshadow, black eyeshadow from the same palette. Going back with eyeshadow Whimsy. I think this is it. All I have to do is just apply something on my inner corners. No, on my brow bone highlighter. And I think I'm done. I'm using Makeup Forever I, I 514 eyeshadow. It's like a metallic cream eyeshadow as my inner corner highlight. I'll do rest of my makeup and I'll be back. And this is it. I really think that these eyeshadows are worth checking. Uh, but not for whole collection. You need to go and buy the whole collection. But I think uh, worth checking one or two eyeshadows at least from this collection. So that was my final reviews. Hopefully you're going to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Till then, bye.